Holding ourselves to another chance. Oh, I will save you. That's fresh air. How you doing? Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I have a wonderful podcast for you. Please feel free to hit the subscribe, hit the like. Okay, that was a different start. So I just wanted to talk about a few things. Um, I got my life playing tricks on me, they say. What is the message of the day? Life is playing tricks on me. <laughs> what is it? Or are we just avoiding our tricks? Yeah, so I just take my time when I uh, think about my daily struggles. I uh, get down into my hobbies, you know, my hobbies that help me, you know, and then uh, when I need a break, I can step away for a second and come back to it when I need to. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, nights get long when we're, we're not focused. And we're not focused in the moment where we can actually address our issues. If we have, have issues or things are actually happening in our lives, we can take the moment to, to make sure we, we are taking care of ourselves. But not at the expense of other people. You get what I'm saying? So we've been thinking about this. When, when people in the, the world are saying, that's business. Don't, don't talk about my lyrics. That's business. That's exactly the ant stu stupid answer I thought it was. You have no idea why you did that. You're just doing it for what? Money? Oh, wow. So you sold yourself to the devil. And you're doing demonic things. And you're talking about murderous things. Which... There's, what? Could you imagine if I just started, out of the blue, just started talking about, you know, like, crazy stuff like that? People wouldn't be able to take me serious. Because it's not true. All those top mainstream artists aren't doing shit. And the one saying that they're they're doing all that, they're living in mansions and gated community or something. And if they say they got all those cars and stuff, and they're making money off your demise. You think they care about what's happening in Chicago in the in the streets? Nah. You think what's happening in Chicago's, you know, the pandemic? You think they care about any of that? No. It's money to them, supposedly. They just wanna make they wanna rake in that money off your demise. Me personally, that's fucking stupidity. So the best thing and the best solution is continue to speak the truth. Continue to walk in example of what life should be. You should humble yourself to understand that your daily life and the decisions you make especially at the expense of others. There is a time where you have to answer to somebody. So while you're in this 3D world, talking all that mad crap, that, oh, nobody can tell you different. That, oh, you don't care about people trying to address the situation that that the community is affected by the demonic low vibration entities. You know what I'm saying? So when people are consuming their, their music, you know, with uh, demonic sounds, low vibration, they're wondering why their karma or, or they're having things happen. You know, if you're consuming yourself with negativity and you're not actually listening to the lyrics and, you, you know, stuff like that, like, think about it. Is that good? You know what I mean? Is that good? No. We have so many... The, 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 the music industry is so clouded with negativity. I mean, it's, it's working change now, but... For the longest time before I started having that influence... I mean, I, I started on this two years ago. Um, in the underground, I was talking about 
how to uplift your life and get it get away from the norm of what the karmic you know like community is doing you know do you think the people that are leading those communities actually care about the people in the community that they actually built no so you've been already tricked from the start it's already a you know what I'm saying? It's a wheel that's about to get flat. You know what I'm saying? You keep going around like a cycle because that's what they do. They uh, they, they they manipulate people that are uh, um, um, hurt. You know, going through some stuff, going through depression, going through addiction. That's the people that they those karmic people take advantage of. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand? So if you think you're part of something in in, in this karmic energy in the communities. Know that there's, there's a better way. It's coming real soon. We've been waiting for this opportunity, obviously. But see, uh, it took me 42 years to finally wake up. And finally take a stand. Because I was starting to actually listen to God. He gave me the blessings to understand that I have a purpose in life. To make a difference. And the people people's lives moving forward generations to come in all of humanity yeah yeah well you have to believe in something right well if you believe in that karmic energy that karmic low vibration stuff that they be putting out where is the real success do they give back to the community those artists that actually Made money off other people's demise, talked all bad about, you know what I'm saying, F this, F that, you know, talk bad about, and disrespect, I mean, like dissing and, and all this disrespect, I mean, you think they gave back to the community? You know what I mean? Like, gave money back? Hell no, they didn't do nothing. That's where you've been tricked in thinking that this community is caring. They ain't caring. They don't, no, they got a bunch of Karens. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the solution, they would say, instead of talking about the problem? The solution is, I'm going to keep awakening people to find their true potential so then they can be a leader in their communities and they can also stand up for what's right and that we need to heal. We need to find a new era where this is going to change the world. You know what I'm saying? We take the opportunity to understand our purpose in life. We realize that our triumphs and our struggles in our lives were there for a purpose and we learn from them. We also understand we take responsibility for our actions every day as we speak with clarity and truth. And we do not take handouts from demonic entities. The handout is, to, it's a broken system, do you understand? Do you know what I mean? I don't know how long this is going to go until the truth really gets out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I told you a while back, take heed to what I was talking about. You know, the time is coming here soon where a lot of, a lot of your opportunities to be karmic and all that in these communities, it's going nowhere. Especially when you think about it. <clears throat> how much influence do you think you really have? You know what I'm saying? Do you walk... Do you walk around the corner knowing that that there's other spiritual elements that could actually get to you? Did you know that? Did you even know that? No, they, they forgot to tell you that. So if you're entertaining negativity and all that, what do you think? What do you think? The spiritual world's not going to do something? If you didn't educate yourself on that spiritual realm, it's, it's right now. Why would you think different? Because right now, at this point, they are trying, all bars are out. They're trying to make sure people like myself do not have that opportunity to get to the top. So I'll just sit right here doing the same damage and change that I've been set out to do. I'm saying so I love this free flow freestyle 
message to the masses. How are we going to change the future? We're going to start working on our individual self. You're not going to worry about other people. You're going to worry about yourself. And you're going to look at the ugly parts of yourself and you're going to start looking and be like, oh, okay, 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 that's, yeah, that's not so bad. You know, because a lot of times we got to look at them in the mirror. Look at the person in the mirror. Look at the person in the mirror and say, is this this person that is really who I want to be? Until you come to that realization. Here's another truth. Why do we continue entertaining our sorrows but with negativity as a as a band-aid to cover it up you know what I'm saying we we can't take we got to take responsibility for what we're doing you know it doesn't give you the right to just hurt other people because you feel hurt you know what I'm saying Oh yeah, and this is me on the piano, by the way. Well, it's an electric keyboard. Ah, yeah, I took on piano lessons with myself and this is what I've been doing. I think I'm doing okay. So anyways, I just wanna, if, if a leader or somebody in the community wants to talk to me about how to impl implement a change you know like get away from all that you know get away you gotta get away from the you gotta ask God for that you know and that intuition will tell you the right right thing to do is step away from that the karmic communities that are on these platforms is people continue to entertain those you got people like myself that care about even the people that are doing the karmic that I could also help you you know like I can help you but you got to help yourself it, it, it really starts with that I could be the spark for change and prosperity for the world but it ultimately comes down to you got to make the effort you know what I'm saying? All right, so I appreciate I appreciate uh, listening in. This this is another prophetic message for people. And uh, if you enjoy me playing piano in the background, when I do that, you know. Um, um, I don't even know if you even heard it. <laughs> I didn't have it up loud enough, but anyways. Take heed to what I talk about. You know what I'm saying? Take heed to what I'm talking about. Respect. Respect God's people. You know what I'm saying? God's messengers. Respect. Just as you want me to expect, respect you, I respect you, but I have plenty of plenty, plenty, plenty of things and facts that can debunk anything that you thought was the lead when it comes to karmic karmic communities and stuff like that. You get know what I'm saying? So karmic communities are the ones that chase they chase negativity. They go all around the internet and the world and it's stupid. It's it's so sad. It's really sad because they destroy people's lives and I don't know. I, I just want to say God bless all of you. Um, listen to my content if you need clarity there's other people that do the same thing I do. If you need to find God, God is with you every step of the way. God bless.